dream keep dreaming even if it's just a small dream chase for it and when you've started keep going don't give up don't stop no matter how hard it is just keep believing yourself because there are so many challenges to dream I don't want to be biased. I just want to be honest. Kasi hindi porket nagblablag ako dito, then I only have to say good things about this resort. For me, kasi based on my experience, kanina lang. Um, when it comes to staff, pagdating sa assistance nila, I'm going to rate it from zero over ten. Trying new things in life is scary, but you will never know who you are unless you try. That is why I chose to travel to challenge myself, to escape from darkness, expand my perspective, and appreciate the beauty of life. My name is Lito Hakosa, and this is The Rooster's Dream. Me, me, tingin ka sa camera. Me, me, me. What's up mga katipilaok? It's me again, Lito Hakosa, ang inyong biyaherong manok. So please don't forget to call me manok, especially if you have questions. Just say, hi manok, I have a question. Paano po papunta dito? How much po yung entrance fee manok? Something like that, kasi gusto kong makilala as manok. And the reason why my channel has been changed from Lito Hakosa Vlogs to Biyahe ni Manok kasi my last name is Manokay so from the root word Manok kinuha ko yun kaya, kaya mas pinili ko yung Biyahe ni Manok kasi mas catchy siya at mas mabilis akong maalala ng mga tao but as you can see nandito ako sa Farmers and Habitant sooner or later gagawin nila itong camping site and I'm so excited sa opening nila. Yung plano nila is early this summer or this upcoming summer. So probably mga April or May. At let's see kung ano nga ba yung feeling kapag nag-start na sila dito. Anyway, pupunta po ako ngayon sa Erin's Place Resort and titignan ko kung gaano nga ba kaganda yung resort na yun. Actually, tapat lang nun is lihim na batis. But, I believe maganda siya based sa mga pictures na nakita ko. But, tignan, tignan natin kung ano nga ba yung, yung something special na may kita ko sa Erin's Place Resort na wala doon sa lihim na batis. So, before we start, please huwag niyo pong kalimutan mag-subscribe at i-click yung notification bell para makareceive kayo ng next travel updates ko. Alright, so let's start. When we arrived in Sitio San Roque, before we headed to the Erin's Place Resort, we saw this coffee shop full of dreams called Cafe Publico. Hi! Welcome to Cafe Publico and Aroma Tea. Meron kaming milk tea para sa may mga sinusuyo. Meron din naman kaming kape para sa mga may pinaglalaban. Kaya tara na! Aroma Team and Cafe Publico are happy to serve you. Please like and contact us to our page Cafe Publico and Aroma Tea 101. Thank you! Cafe Publico is adding a flavor here in Sitio San Roque. So, pagagising nyo ng umaga kapag galing kayo sa Erin's Place Resort, um, diretso agad kayo dito sa Cafe Publico. 
promise masaya dito masarap din dito While we were enjoying at Cafe Publico, we met Lady Hani with her two dogs. She took us to a waterfall of Sitius and Roque where you can enjoy the place without paying an entrance fee. Behind me is a mini waterfall called Batu Falls and according to mga local dito, tinawag siya na Batu Falls dahil sa jasang inukit ng kalikasan. Welcome to Erin's Place Resort, located in Baras Rizal, a very nature-friendly resort and a beautiful place for vacation, pleasure, and relaxation. What makes this resort more special, um, napapaligiran siya ng mga small pine trees, kaya nagmumukha siyang bagyo yung vibe niya. That is why, for me, I'm going to call this as Mini Baguio Resort ng Baras Rizal. Sige, sige, isa pa! Sometimes, it feels good to be lost in the right direction. So how to get here? Ride a van or FX from Cubao going to Kogyo Gate 2 for 40 pesos per head. At Kogyo Gate 2, look for a jeepney going to Painan and ask to drop you off in Sitio Sanaloke or also known as Lihim Nabatis for 60 pesos per head. Then, ride a tricycle going to Erin's Place Resort for 30 pesos per head. So what are the things you need to know about this resort? Regarding the rates, entrance fee for a day tour is 150 pesos from 7 in the morning until 5 in the afternoon, while for an overnight stay is 180 pesos. Check-in time is at 2 p.m. and check-out time is at 12 noon. We stayed overnight in Kubo for 1,500 pesos good for 3 guests. Let me show you another video for the other rates. Please be informed that no walk-in is allowed. You need to contact the resort to make a reservation via their Facebook page. Upon booking via Messenger, the resort will provide you the things you need to know including the new normal guidelines. So what to expect about this resort? The resort has two swimming pools to enjoy. They have a common kitchen or grill area, access to grotto area including the parking space, no corkage fee on food except for hard liquors for 300 pesos. In addition, foods, drinks, toiletries, and grocery items are for sale in the resort. The place has no signal and Wi-Fi. You would definitely enjoy the resort. One thing I have observed, the resort is surrounded by different codes and reminders to protect our Mother Earth and value each other's lives. The resort have shower areas and restroom, and they also have the 204 steps they called.
All I can say is, wow, Erin Space Resort indeed has really so much to offer. Look at these flowers behind me. I compliment siya sa suot ko. And I also see bees being attracted to these beautiful flowers. And I should say that this resort is like a mini Baguio resort. Sobrang ganda dito as in hindi kayo magsisisi sa pagpunta nyo dito. So what are you guys waiting for? Para akong nasa gitna ng Cordillera Mountains, it is giving me um, a feeling na nasa Mount Ula pa ko or, or Mount Kulag. Sobrang sarap sa pakiramdam. Imagine nang dito tayo sa gitna ng Rizal, particularly Baras Rizal. But it feels like nang dito talaga ako sa Cordillera Mountains. Sobrang saya dito sa Erin Space. Very recommended to visit. So kung bi-visit kayo dito, Please do not forget na dumaan kayo dito. Now, let's rate this resort. When it comes to their amenities, they deserve a perfect rate from 10 over 10. Regarding the taste of their food, it's also 10 over 10 kahit kalahati ng pagkain namin, kinain ng alaga nilang pusa. How beautiful this resort is, another perfect rate from 10 over 10. How very relaxing this place is, another perfect rate from 10 over 10. Everything is almost perfect until this unexpected circumstance happened. I don't want to be biased. I just want to be honest. Kasi hindi porkit nag-vlog ako dito, then I only have to say good things about this resort. For me kasi, based on my experience, kanina lang, um, when it comes to staff, pagdating sa assistance nila, I'm going to rate it from 0 over 10. Bakit ko nasabi? Kasi, Nung nag-arrive pa lang kami dito kahapon, um, hindi kami masyadong na-assist. Tapos yung sumunod sa amin, mas nauna silang i-assist kaysa sa amin. So, napaka-unfair. Or, or should I say, napaka-unfair yung treatment ng resort na to. So, kagabi lang, nung nag-order kami ng food, alam ng tao na dalawa kami dito, Yet, isang paper plate lang yung binigay, tapos isang kutsara, isang tinidor na plastic. Pero okay lang naman yun, hindi, hindi yung pinaka-issue kasi tayong mga Pinoy, napaka-resourceful natin. And then, we used to eat gamit yung kamay natin, so okay lang yun. But the main issue here, since yung type ng pag-vlog ko is a mini documentary, so, I tried to ask from them, dun sa staff, sa reception, kung okay lang ba humingi ng short clip interview. So, nung umpisa, parang hindi, sila, hindi nila alam kung sino sa kanila. Tapos, sabi nila na, okay sir, balik na lang po kayo sir, para sa short clip, short clip interview. So, ayun, pagkabalik ko, para na akong inachapwera. Like, I feel like being discriminated na may suot naman ako na face mask tapos hindi ko alam kung sino yung lalaking yun na parang chinito din ginanon lang niya ako tapos lumapit si ate sa akin sabi niya um, sir next time na lang po like ang bastos lang ng dating ba so but it does not mean na it does not mean na ano na hindi ko na kayo i-recommend na mag visit dito since iba-iba yung experience natin, malay nyo, baka yung pag-visit nyo dito, mas maganda yung experience nyo sa mga staff kaysa sa amin. So, wala akong masasabi sa place. Very relaxing. Hindi kayo magsisisi sa place. But when it comes to staff, you have to be prepared emotionally and mentally. Baka hindi nyo 
makayanan. Ako kasi, masyado akong sensitive when it comes to customer service. I don't know if if it's just my part, kasi doon ako nagtatrabaho, or maybe sila ang may problema dito kasi hindi nila masyadong inaasikaso yung mga guests nila. For me, 0 over 10 yung i-rate ko pagdating sa customer service ng resort na to. But again, i-recommend ko pa rin na mag-visit kayo sa place kasi sobrang ganda. Promise. I know I'm just a small vlogger or a small dreamer. I can understand if they say no due to pandemic. I can also understand if they say they are ashamed to be interviewed. And I would also understand better if they say they are busy. What I just don't understand is, bakit pinaasa nila ako at bakit pinabalik pa nila ako tapos wala naman pala mangyayari. Please don't get me wrong. I'm not doing this to ruin the resort. In fact, I'm still recommending you guys to visit this place. I even want to call this as a mini Baguio or little Baguio resort ng Paras Rizal. Maybe this is one of the challenges to face as a travel vlogger. Maybe I have to experience this for me to learn how to be patient and how to be more understanding. Furthermore, you just don't sleep to dream. You have to face it waking up because there are struggles to dream. Some will take you down, others will discourage you, many will reject you. You have to be prepared, you need to be strong and steadfast for your dream. What's up mga katikilaok? So kaka-check out lang namin sa Erin's Place Resort. And until now, hindi pa rin ako maka-move on kung paano yung trato nila sa amin. Yung tipong disappointed ako. I mean, I'm not disappointed na ni-reject nila yung request ko for a short clip interview. Pero disappointed ako kung paano nila ako ni-reject. How can you imagine na kanina pag check out namin, hindi man lang sila nagsabi na na thank you for visiting sir, please ka, please visit again, ganun ganun, yung mga ganun klaseng ano, ka, ka etc. Sila yung tipong resort na pera pera lang, yung tipong okay po pasok kayo, magbayad kayo, tapos enjoy na kayo, bala kayo sa buhay mo, parang ganun yung aura niya eh. So... It does not mean na sinasabi ko ito to stop you from visiting this place. Malay nyo, like what I've said earlier, na magiging iba yung experience nyo. So, I still recommend pa rin na mag-visit kayo sa place na to. Kasi worth it talaga yung place. Very relaxing. Wala akong masabi. But still, you have to be prepared emotionally and mentally kung paano yung customer service nila dito. This is it mga katiktilaok. Once again, my name is Lito Hakosa, ang inyong biyaherong manok, and this is The Rooster's Dream. Please do not forget to subscribe and click the bell for you to receive a notification for my next travel videos. See you to my next vlog. Hinihingal na ako. Mwa! Mga kapatid ko, mga kamag-anak, hello!